welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be showing you some server hosting so you don't have to test them yourself first of all we have host hub and it is down of course it's down some of these guys they just post the video to post and then they don't even test it so that's one and the second one that i do not like today is huzzy nodes it was promoted as a free 24 7 server hosting too good to be true and like always and it's actually paid so if you have a dollar can you please donate it in the comments i'll buy a server i'm joking this i don't know i don't i don't really care about all these ssd core 300 cpu blah 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 but the first server hosting that actually works is Minefort. Now it is a very simple server hosting and look it's excelente on Trustpilot. So you can trust it for real. But yeah they have a lot of customization, customization op options. And you can also just join random servers. I like that a lot. So here's me making my server. And because the name was hospital bed, I'm naming my server Phil's hospital bed. And there's lots of software options, version options, and there's also templates. So lifesteal, one block, world SMP, they have it all and templates. So you don't have to do anything. So I'm going to start playing on the server and tell you guys how good it is. And besides the weird little ad in the corner, like it occasionally pops up. This is a very good server hosting. I mean, I'm not lagging, but it's probably because I have no friends online. So I decided to join a random server where these guys were going to the nether. And it was pretty fun. I spent like 15 minutes helping them. Went to the nether, almost died, and came back and gave away all my resources I've collected. But yeah, even during those experiences, I didn't experience any real bad lag. Like, I was going 2 frames per second. So yeah, W server hosting. I think it's better than the Ternos if you're just gonna play simple Minecraft, like just just SMP style like vanilla Minecraft. It's very good. The second server hosting that I'll be testing that actually worked was Minehut. I actually have a server from a long time ago. It got deleted because I haven't turned on the server for ages. But it doesn't matter because I'm gonna start another server that I won't start for ages after this video is released. It's very simple to set up. Again, lots of options. I think this server hosting company owns Minehut. I mean, Minekeep or Minefort, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, here's me in game. This is the experience, guys. I'm just in game finding igloos and trying to cure this zombified villager for 30 minutes straight. The only thing it did was shake around like a drug addict. And it, I end up killing it and freeing the other one. Maybe it's the same way my parents will free me from the basement. If you guys like and subscribe so we can hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But yeah, very good server hosting. Barely any lag and again, if you just want to host a simple server, this is your uh, this is an option. This should be along with mine for one of your main options, okay? And yeah, that's it for today, guys. If you guys have any server hostings you want me to like try out because you've seen them or heard of them, comment them down below and I will do it in the next episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you haven't already watched the other two videos about these server hostings, there's some very good ones in there. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.